Hi, today I'm going to show you how to complete a Flipgrid assignment. Um, as a student, you would go into your classroom and your teacher might post an assignment or an announcement with a Flipgrid. So I'm going to click on it and here is a link. It says to go sign in with your Gmail account and add a response. So I know I have a digital citizenship one and you would join with Google. Okay, here is what your screen would look like. And you have the option to read the instructions yourself. But also if you click this blue icon, it will read the instructions to you. Click the play button. As you watch the video set, think about the questions below. Then write out a quick script with your answers to the questions. Okay, so once you would listen to the instructions, you go ahead and follow them. When you're ready to give a video response, um, you can click either this button or this button. Okay, once your window opens, it's going to tell you um, each step. You have four steps. The first one is going to tell you how long you have to record your video, your teacher will give you a time limit, um, but it says you can click anywhere to dismiss. As you are recording, you have options. If you click the options, you can upload clips, mirror your video, record your screen. There are also effects that you can choose from. If you're someone that you don't want to be um, filmed or you don't want their, your face to show, you can pixelate it. You can do different filters. Okay, there are other effects that you can do. Um, you can add frames. You can add emojis, you can add text, draw, and a board. Um, I'll show you how the board works while I start this video. So once you're ready, you would just click the red button here to record. And it'll give you a countdown. And you would just record your response of whatever your teacher asked. So this one was about digital citizenship, so I would talk about those questions. Um, if your teacher asked you to write something out, like write a math problem or show graph paper, you can split your screen, and then you can also draw on it. So if you needed to tell coordinates and the line or write out a math problem or whatever you want to do, you would do that. Okay, when you're done, you would hit the pause button. And then you can always redo it or click next. And you would just record your response of whatever your teacher asked. So okay. this one was about digital citizenship, more, so I would talk about those questions. Next. One of the last steps is to um, add a selfie. Your teacher might have this option. And all it is is the picture of the thumbnail that would show up to your teacher. So you could just take a picture and say next. Okay, the last step is submitting your video. And you can make sure your name's right and give a title if you wanted to. But it should go in the correct category as far as your teacher is concerned. And then click submit. And now you've completed a Flipgrid response. If you have any more questions, please contact your classroom teacher.